Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. Woo, I have been some kind of crazy busy. <laughs> I have been working really hard to get out a new uh, digital download and I did get that in my Etsy shop this weekend. So um, I worked on that quite a bit last week and then I um, have to do the whole Photoshop portion of it with my son. So um, that's what I have been doing and uh, doing a bunch of yard work. And so yeah, it's just been kind of crazy. So that's why you guys haven't seen me for a bit. But um, I'm back to show you my digital download that's new and how I did it. And then we'll do a little like craft with me kind of a thing. So um, I have this really old, you can see, see how it's just disintegrating. It's a really old, it's like from 1923 and it's a needle craft. It's like a magazine, but it's folded like a newspaper. And so a lot of the images in it like a lot of the edges are just completely disintegrating and um, a lot of these images that were folded in the middle because it folds like a newspaper um, they're you know just disintegrating and going away and so I thought I better get it uh, scanned so that I could have you know some of these images instead of was wasting them so you can see it's from June 1923 and um, so yeah I just I just have used images out of it. So anyway, um, I have this image. You can see the paper where it's been gotten kind of, it's all cracked and stuff. So I did try to do some fixing on that. So I just uh, glued some old paper on there just to try to keep it from popping all the way opened. And then this one also is really cracked you can see and it's faded quite a bit but I just kind of put paper back there to try to hold it together so that I could get them scanned before they just completely fall apart so that's kind of where um, most of the stuff has come from for this digital download so um, how I started because you know I was working from originals like this is a letter that my grand great grandmother wrote when she was graduating from high school and so I used it just because I liked you know the script and then this is old composition notebook paper this is an old postcard um, that's one of the images that came out of that magazine and then this is a piece of the magazine and so I have just like done my own collages and then I scanned them so that's that's really what most of it is we did do a little bit of sizing stuff with Photoshop which I don't know how to do my son does that part for me I mean I sit with him and tell him what I want and everything but that's uh, where it comes from so it's all been handmade first and then scanned so that's one of the pages and then like this is um, I scanned embroidery pieces old embroidery pieces, this is old wallpaper, this is from my other digital download, and um, this is an actual piece of lace that was scanned. So I just kind of did collages, that's one of the images from the book. So just kind of, you know, put them together. That's all that handwriting that from my great grandmother, um, that's an old 1920s image. So this digital download is called 1923, just because, you know, I thought that was a good name for it since that's what it came from is something from 1923 and then this is old wallpaper and that's just a public domain image that I found of butterflies and this is actual lace and then this is um, from that magazine you can see all the cracking and stuff on that so yeah and that's from that magazine and this is old wallpaper and then I am um, you know took the images and like made a pocket out of it and collaged on it. That's a piece of the wallpaper. That's wallpaper and um, the kids. And then this is some um, old um, crochet underneath the butterfly. And this is an, a piece of that paper right there. And this is another piece of that paper with another strip that was falling off. So I just glued it on there. And that's another image that I got public domain. And this is a public domain image. So, but as you can see, I just kind of made them like this. 
and then um, scan them. So what they came out like is this. So if you go to get this digital download, this is what it looks like. And one thing I would suggest, I did not shrink to fit these. And they fit okay, but like it does butt up right to the edge. And this guest check is right to the edge. So, I mean, it's however you want. If you want to shrink to fit it, you might get a little teeny bit more of an edge. But other than that, it should fit um, fine on regular size. And then here's the envelope. So you get seven pages. So you get two pages with uh, the ephemera and stuff. And you know, like the envelope I made and tags I made, this collage tag, and then that's a piece of lace and that's a piece of wallpaper. And you can see on this one a little bit better, like that wallpaper kind of gets cut off on there because again, all I did is take pieces of it, put it on regular paper and then scanned it. So um, the envelope's pretty good. I mean, you can see just the white barely, but you could shrink to fin fit it and then it'll fit a little bit better. So that's your choice on what you want to do with the ephemera. Um, the pages look like this. They, you can do them, you know, edge to edge like that. And what I had planned is that you can just fold them in half and you can cut them down a little if your journal's not quite this big, but I'm just saying this is how they're meant to go so that you can use them as actual journal pages. So you could print, you know, a design on this side or ink it or stencil it or, you know, do whatever you want to it. Um, glue another piece of paper, which is kind of what I was thinking of. I got um, paper from Denise. Let me grab it really quick. I ordered one of her spring kits from her shop, and so I got the rainbow kind of uh, Kool-Aid dyed pastels. And so I thought it would be really fun to, you know, glue one of these to the back because it's just beautiful colors. So I think I'm going to start a journal. I just haven't had a chance to get around to it this weekend. I wanted to, but I just never got that far. So, um, but that's kind of what's in the works. So then, you know, I would do this again. And I think I'm going to use another composition notebook because then I can cut it to this size. So if, if I use an old book, it may be hard to find one that, you know, fits it perfectly, but if I use the composition notebook, I can cut it to this size, which is just an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper folded in half. Um, so yeah, that's how I meant them to be. So that's, they're oriented in the right direction and you've got some decoration already done for you instead of having to uh, do it all yourself. So there's the old lace and the ladies. So yeah, that's how it'll it'll be. And that's the handwriting with the rickrack down the middle. So um, they are fairly light because, like I said, they have come out of that really old um, magazine. So they're just, you know, they're super pale, especially this one because it was the one that was the most damaged. But I kind of like that effect. Um, and I think you could get better printer paper. This is just regular copy paper. So if I use more like a good photo quality um, paper, then they would come out better because the color is a little bit better on the originals. Like you can see this is a tiny bit lighter in color. But a lot of it's the inking that I did. Oh, here's Pasha. He got a haircut yesterday and he wasn't happy about it. <laughs> So it's not a perfect hair haircut by any stretch of the imagination, but um, he looks better. He was getting kind of knotted around his back end because he won't ever let us comb his back end. He just bites. So um, we just kind of clipped him to, you know, get rid of that. We do that a lot in the summer anyway, just so he's a little bit cooler. So it's kind of getting that time of year where it's warming up. So we did that. But you can see there's not a huge difference between these two. This is the original and this is the digital. So there isn't a big difference between the colors on those. You can kind of see those two together. See, and this could have been um, shrink to fit as well. But um, it's just all your personal preference how you want it. I mean, we did the regular 8.5 by 11 in the Photoshop, but, you know. Sometimes it doesn't always come out perfect, so when you 
put it in but then when you shrink to fit it comes out but then it's probably going to have borders on it so it's just all all what you want to do i don't think it looks bad though like you wouldn't know that this was um any different than i mean everything's there so it's just up to you how you want want it but that's how i made them they're all from old images and stuff and so I just did them by hand. And I got that idea um, from Rachel on Roxy Creations. Hi, Rachel. Thank you so much. You just always have really cool ideas with all the old. Um, she scans a lot of doilies and things like that. And so I just thought, oh, it would be kind of fun to just make a whole kit and then scan it, you know, because all those images are so old and then all the old embroidery and all that kind of thing. So you just can't find it otherwise. I thought today we could make up some of these little cards. Let me see what I got here. Oh, I grabbed the wrong ones together. Anyways, so I found this little set, and they're pretty close to ATC cards. I haven't even measured them yet, but I think they're pretty close to the same size, maybe a tiny, a tiny bit smaller. Sorry, I can't hardly see this ruler. Yeah, they're like um, two and an eighth instead of two and a half by oh it's almost three and a half so yeah I mean there's they're really close to ATC size they are supposed to be flashcards that you um, you know make yourself so you could write little math problems for kids or sight words or whatever uh, you know high school type if there was just some little stuff that you needed to remember and then they all come on this ring thing and I got these off of Amazon um, so they're just flashcards blank flashcards so if you go on to Amazon and search blank flashcards um, all different stuff will come up but these will come up and you get like two and they're like I don't know $7.95 or something like that but anyway I just thought those would be really fun to make like um, tags or just journaling cards or whatever so these are a few that I've made and I'm gonna put these in my shop so they all have the front and the back done. So it didn't really matter that they were white because I inked them and then I covered them pretty in much entirely with paper or stamping. Like this is the original card up here. I just inked it and stamped it. So um, you can kind of see it. But So this will be one set and I'm going to call this one, I think, we'll just say Victorian or something. But they, they're going to go on my Etsy and I'll have pictures so it's not like you have to remember the names. But... And then this is paper dolls. I'm going to call this one paper dolls because these are, these two are Tim Holtz paper dolls. This is, I'm not even sure, it was just in my um, bunch of paper dolls that I had, but it's not a Tim Holtz one. So, but anyway, they all have the backs done for journaling. So like this one I left as like a regular journaling card. These ones I put the holes in where they originally were so that you can make them like a tag, like put twine or you could just put a um, eyelet in there or a brad even whatever so it's that one paper dolls and then this these are my crazy <laughs> ones <laughs> with the funny little um, um, what would you call those like art dolls I guess or paper dolls or whatever you want but this was like a they used to stand these on the counters to show like dresses you know, like um, sewing patterns, like what it, what the dress would look like if you made it, um, just miniature version, and they would set them up on the counter, and it had a really scary head, but I just cut the head off, because it cracks me up with these, these are those Icapilli, um paper dolls that she does, so, and this is just a dress form, and then this one's a dress form, that's a real dress form that I just printed out, I added some lace here, so anyway, that's those and then I was working on some to go in this new journal that I'm gonna make and so I have a few little pieces of stuff so um what was the oh that's just the blank card that we're gonna use so those are the two that'll go in my because they've got that 20s look there's like some graphic 45 stuff and old book page and whatever so I'm just kind of like making little collages it's not anything rocket science it's just that's what I'm working on so I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys because these little cards are really fun so if you wanted to go uh, get some of those uh, from Amazon they're just kind of neat so this is from my digital and it's 
um, the old handwriting and a piece of wallpaper. So I thought I could use a piece of this. I'm just going to tear, you know, I'm going to use my tearing. I have the other tearing rulers too, but I kind of like this one too because it just does the straight edge instead of a uh, more of a ruffle or crimpy type edge. So sometimes that's kind of thin. So I hope everybody's having an awesome day. I've just been, like I said, doing loads of yard work and all kinds of stuff. I've just been busy this weekend. So this is the first day I haven't had a hundred other things to do. I want her on here, so I don't know where. I haven't I have not figured out how I want to arrange this one. I just know that I want to use stuff from that digital. So yeah, I just hope you guys are having a good day and had a good weekend. Hopefully you got more accomplished than I did. These are just things that I've scanned, like that old, just a piece of that, and then um, this old like table runner or whatever this is. I'm trying to think what part I want to use. I don't need a lot, so I think I'm just going to take this edge up here. This flower maybe. And we have all the end of the year stuff coming up, the band festivals and all that kind of stuff this week. So my kids are busy, busy, and they're kind of done. <laughs> so that's always interesting because it's hard to get them through that last push, you know, for the year. <laughs> they just get done and don't want to do anything. It's like, no, we need to finish the year before you can be done. But I, I remember that, too. I mean, I even get that way by this time of the year at school working just because it's, you just get kind of worn out with the whole project. I'm trying to figure out how I want this one. I want to see that flower, so I think I'm going to do it like that. I know this will get partially covered, but that's okay. It's okay. If there's some hanging over, I'll just um, cut it when I'm done. I just like to get everything I want and then cut it afterwards. I want more of that up there. So I think we'll do something like that. And I'll do some inking. I'm just going to tear off so I know I don't need quite that much. It has just been pouring rain here, though. My husband and I were um, shoveling dirt, you know, because we're taking out one of our flower beds. And oops, I need to ink that first. And um, moving a lot of the flowers and stuff over to a different one. And so shoveling the dirt, it was so heavy. Oh my goodness, because it's really wet. Yeah, heavy, heavy, heavy. Oops, sprinkle that. Yeah, I was trying to move some of my bulbs without destroying them, but I knew, I mean, I know they'll come back next year. It's just a bummer because some of them are done, so it's not a big deal. They're already bloomed out, but... Um, some of my daffodils still were going strong because it's been raining so much. They were really happy. And um, that was a bit of a bummer to have to pull those out. But I know it's got to get done before it gets really hot or it won't get done. Because who wants to be doing that kind of stuff in the 100 degree heat? <sighs> Not me. I don't really want to do anything in the 100 degree heat, so... Or 90, or even 85 for that matter. <laughs> I mean, I much prefer heat over cold, but still, once it gets to a certain temperature, I'm not one to be out there laboring or anything.
I mean, I love being out in it. Just don't want to be shoveling dirt when it's that warm. Yeah, I originally thought it would be fun to do one of those um, little books of cards, you know, almost like a little mini journal. I mean, obviously you would have to take some of the cards away because that would be kind of a crazy amount of uh, cards to try to use, but it would just be kind of fun to do that. What have I done with my... You know, I have bone folders, but I literally can never find them. I took them actually to a friend's house this weekend to do a stamping thing because she asked me to bring some extras and I have no idea what I did with them. That's typical. Alright, so I'm just going to... And see, I always get the... Between the glue and the ink, I always make a mess out of... The clean side. that and then she can go like trying to figure out where's the hole yeah see that's the only problem I could just make this one a journaling card though because it seems like their head is always right where the hole is oh no that'll work if I put her like right there <laughs> I don't know what that's about but their head's always right where you There's that. Sorry, I got really quiet. I just do that sometimes when I'm crafting. I am, like I've said before, it's, hard, it's rough for me to talk the entire time I'm doing these things. So now I need to find some paper to put on the back of this. Let me just grab some. I forgot to do that. Sorry about that. Um, so these are the edges that I cut off of that. Uh, notebook journal that we made together. So see, these are the, this is perfect for this kind of a thing. So that's why I wasn't that worried about cutting all that paper off because I knew I would use it. So, And I've used it for other things too since then. But yeah. So this goes here. Be a lot easier if I didn't misplace my bone folders. <laughs> I have things fairly cleaned up too. I think I must have um, left them downstairs or something. I'm not thinking about it. And obviously, if you made these, you may want to let these dry before you cut because now I'm going to have glue all over my scissors. But for the purposes of filming, I don't want you guys to have to sit and obviously wait for these to dry. Oopsie, sorry, I didn't mean to bang you guys. 
All right, and I kind of feel like it needs just something else, like maybe right up here. So I think maybe I'll just use one of these little stamps that I got. And they're, I got them off of Amazon, and they're okay, but they're, I thought they were the clear stamps, because I didn't even know that you could get them like this. And I was in a hurry and just ordered them. <laughs> really smart, right? But anyways... Um, they aren't backed and they don't stick to these so I mean it's not awful they're small enough luckily that you can just kind of I just liked them because they were like postcard and um, they're just cool different taggy looking things and so but they're on rubber and I don't have wood blocks to just put them on or whatever so permanently so I just kind of do like that and press down and they work fine. So it's not the end of the world. It's just a little irritating because I didn't even know they were still doing these like this without some kind of something to put them on. So anyway, that's what happens when you don't read well enough. <laughs> it just from, they showed it like this and they didn't have a lot of other images. And so when you're looking at them on a screen, like a computer screen, they look like those silicone, the clear ones. So that's, I just assumed that's what they were. So that teaches me a lesson, right? I'm just going to kind of do this up here too, just for fun. So, yeah, so I even wrote like T's on them so I know which is the top. And Because sometimes when you look at them like that, it's hard to tell. So that will work. I think that says 19... 42 but it's fine <laughs> that's a little later but you know whatever so um yeah so this one I think I'm just going to leave like as an actual journaling card instead of poking the hole in even though her head is in a, a different spot and see then I just went and schmutzed that up so there's that and I may make a few more of these but these ones will all go in my shop and I'm also going to list the journal that we made together um The one with the Tim Holtz birds on the front, and then it was the composition notebook one. So that one will also go on my Etsy. So anyways, I hope you guys have an awesome day, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye now.